Hey guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Craft adventure. <laughs> that's how I'm. <clears throat> that's how I'm gonna begin all of my videos from now on. Um, Kingdom Craft adventure. I hope that you are having a good time today. Um, I'm doing pretty okay myself. I'm doing. I'm, do I'm doing fine. Um, having a blast playing some Minecraft. <clears throat> um, ladies and gentlemen. Big thank you goes out to the ones of you that uh, did hit that beautiful like button and left me some comments on the last episode where we built the catwalk road. Um, I've since continued it a little bit, we'll take a look here in a minute, but uh, first I wanted to create this bridge um, and see if we can make it look decent. Uh, <clears throat> there were some people worried about this scalification level of the uh, of the of the thing that we did, um, and to you I tell you it's not finished. We will go over it and we will do a scalification, of course. Um, as far as a bridge goes, this is the river, I suppose, and the thing is over there. So we're pretty close to the end. And today I was hoping to take. I wanted to uh, do some of the ideas that you guys suggested. Um, there were a lot of people saying that we needed a tavern, or an inn, uh, or a pub. Boop! I hate sheep. No, I don't. They're, they're pretty, they're cute. Uh, I hate nothing. Anyway, um, yeah, there were some suggestions about doing a tavern, or an inn, or whatever you call it. And I think that's a fantastic idea. Uh, <clears throat> then there was another suggestion that I think I want to start with doing today, uh, in just a moment. Just a moment, that sounded like some call center operating um, um, person that would put you on hold and make the call wait uh, and things. Anyway, what am I talking about? I have no idea and I didn't make enough crap. Okay, let's do this. Boop. Put you there. Um, I had an idea as well as I was building onto the road. Um, in the Plains Kingdom, I got an epiphany. There we go. You know what I like to do with these bridges as well? This is a very simple bridge, but I'd like to do a little bit of this. I think that makes uh, so much of the bridge look better for some reason. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but I think it really raises the bridge. We did that over at the skeleton, <coughs> skeleton farm bridge. Let's do this and then I'll talk about my epiphany. Um, boop. Okay. So, check this out. This is the road I've done um, since the last episode. And I kind of figure 1.9 is coming. 1.9 has the trodded roads, which is uh, looking fantastic. And so I think that this part of the world will probably be remade into trodden dirt you guys will have to let me know but it does make sense as well because over here this is where uh, the catwalk starts apart from this little tree shopping area uh, it starts over there look at that beautiful sunset it's gorgeous just take that in breathe um, over here we can make a building suggested by John winner he must be a winner <laughs> Yeah, that was a pun intended. Uh, he suggested that we do a guard post or a checkpoint. Uh, and I think I understand what you mean, John. Uh, and I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh, we'll make some some kind of like <clears throat> toll station, I suppose. Uh, not a border or anything, but this is essentially, and, and as John correctly pointed out, this is pretty much the Plains Kingdom's lands, even though the Plains Kingdom Ro Roxolani is way over that way. Um, I was even considering in the future adding down a, a road this way because um, you can't have too many roads. Not if I not if I can decide. I love my roads. Uh, having a, a road going down that way towards Roxolani um, and then a guard post or a, or a toll station or what have you here would make sense. And I don't know. I haven't really. Oh dear! I need to clear my throat. Hold on. <coughs> I apologize for that. 
I haven't really figured out a style that I would like to go with, but I'm thinking... Take a look from up here. Um, you can see the, the size that I was thinking of having, so not, not huge in any way. Uh, just like a, a little garrison, I suppose. I think I want to make it uh, out of stone. And maybe possibly some oak wood, because it would be Roxolani. And, well, we aren't really using stone in Roxolani, are we? Hmm. It is a decision that uh, is going to be a little bit hard to make, possibly. I'm going to leave some ender pearls here. This is my working chest right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about it. I'm thinking maybe I'll head over to Roxolani. Uh, to kind of take a look at that building that me and Stress Monster started. I don't think there's been any other building built there yet. I'm not sure though. Um, but to kind of get an idea of, of how I want to design this build. So let's head over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We'll head over to Roxolani. We'll take uh, Rendog's beautiful railway. Um, and we'll see if, if it brings us any ideas for this little guard post thing. It feels absolutely great to be riding the track to Roxolani. Uh, we're gonna jump off here, though. Boop! Got it. Uh, this is an area where we need to work a little bit as well. We need to have a bridge here. You can see that it's kind of been outlined. I can't remember if I did that. Um, but take a look at that. That's a kingdom being born. Uh, <laughs> it's been it's been quite a while without any builds. Don't know what that is. I think that may be Wells. It's working on that. Um, okay. But let's come over here. We're, we're using a lot of oak logs, obviously, in the wall. Um, and this is what me and well, uh, Stress Monster built a few weeks ago. We haven't finished it yet. We haven't found time to do it together. We wanted to do it together because we had so much fun. Uh, kind of started to sketch out the roof as well. This is how you, you get to see the behind-the-scene things. And I guess I have made... I, I don't know what that is. Uh... <laughs> But okay, so something similar to this. I'm thinking then I'll, I'll definitely snag all of this. And I... Mm, didn't we have cobblestone? Oh, we do have cobblestone. Good. We can make a little bit of a stony foundation. I think that's going to be important, you see. Um, so let me bring that and possibly some oak fence. Jeez, this place has a lot of good things to offer for me. Um, I don't want to leave all of those. Okay, um, is there anything else here that we could benefit from? Ooh, hello! Don't tell anyone I stole all of this uh, stuff here, but uh, I am very happy to see that there's a lot of oak logs laying here. There we go. Alright, so something similar to this, maybe add a little bit of a uh, cobble foundation to it, and I think the guard post will be, um, will be looking very pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to head back to uh, to the area where we... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass over this bridge, and I'm going to leave my minecart right over here, because people always complain that there isn't a minecart here, and I'm probably to blame. Um, but I wanted to take the hiking route over this way, and I assume that the guard post is going to be this direction because the mountain kingdom is there there's a little bit of swampage there so yeah i'm gonna head there this way and see how far of a distance this is because connecting this up eventually with the catwalk or the road to the end would be essential and i think it's gonna be uh, gorgeous it is super close ladies and gentlemen just over that hill is roxolani and over here is the you can see the catwalk look at that hey eh? Yeah, I, I have turned Canadian over the last few weeks. I said that in the last video. But uh, you, you see that there. Very gorgeous. And this is where we can connect it up. Oh, I'm getting excited now. See, this is why you need to do roads. We're going to wait with that until 1.9, though, probably. Um, as we're going to use this uh, trotted dirt. But that means that this field here could easily be like a farm field. I'm, I'm seeing... Uh, and someone suggested this as well, a, a big wheat field, uh, we could even have a big sheep field. Um, a lot of stuff that actually uh, is, is part of Roxolani, but isn't part of the, of the town center, if you will. Um, I think that's fantastic. You know what we should do at the guard station here as well? We should definitely have the Roxolani banner 
uh, marking that you're entering Rox Olani. Anyway, uh, so many things to do, and I wish I had more time on my hands. But let's consider, um, actually, you know what? We need to bring this back. Yeah. Need to bring this back over there. And then let's consider this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's a good gap. Um, it isn't really centered though, so I think two there. Yeah, I think I want to move this over one. It's better. So we'll make a, a five wide gap for the end try. One, two, three, four. Move you over here. Something that I'm practicing, by the way, with my YouTube videos <clears throat> is the uh, way I move my mouse. I've noticed that I move my mouse very uh, like erratic. Is that a word? I've learned that from, from my work. A touchpad can have an erratic issue. And if it does, it's um, jumping back and forth and doing all of these things. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm thinking something like that. And maybe we'll simply go with oak logs here. We'll have another one here. Um, and remember, like, the, these kingdoms, I think, are in peace. So we aren't really looking for a, um, um, a war investigation toll station thing. Like, there's no suspicion. There's no guards needed. But it's just a marker, a checkpoint, as, as, as Mr. Winner said. Man, I wish I had your surname. That's a super cool surname. Okay, so I'm thinking like that. We're going to use the cobble as the kind of background block here, I suppose. And let's bring that up there. Make a little bit of an arc. Uh -huh. Uh And then we're going to need a half slabity. And yeah, I'm using a way more stone than, than what we've used in Roxolani. But that's okay. I want to. Can I? Thank you. Um... <clears throat> Just answer my own question. Okay, then I want to bring this over like this. And possibly make it like this. I don't know how that would look. And obviously we'd have to fill you in. Boop. And you in. That may be a little bit boring. Uh... <clears throat> But, you know, you know what we could do. We could uh, make sure we have a little bit of a balcony up there. Yeah, that could work. Maybe use some of the jungle. Let's just try that a little bit, okay? Just get a little bit of depth here. So we do this. And, oh, you know what? We can do this very easily, very simple, right? And we'd have a second floor to this thing, which would kind of act, I suppose, like a guard tower thing. Or where, like, scouts... Scouts would be standing in case it would be war. This would be an area for them. Um, and would bring this over here. <coughs> over here. <laughs> and I'm going to place down a torch and another torch there for now. I just want to see how this looks in the night. Okay. So a lot of imagination goes into this at the moment as it's not finished. But uh, you get the point. You're smart. You're clever. I believe in you. I think that could look really cool, actually. I do like it. I do like it. It shouldn't be too overcomplicated because it doesn't doesn't make sense that um, anyone spends a lot of time here uh, as it's just a checkpoint. We could put the Roxolani banners possibly over there and there hanging down. Yeah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> what the crap was that noise? Uh, for the floor, we're going to go with coarse dirt. Uh, possibly also have like a basin, a water basin, um, for the horse, and maybe even a horse station here. I don't want to make it to an inn, but I want to make it to like, you, you should know that you've gone through this thing. Maybe some hay bales. Yeah. Okay, let me work a little bit more on this, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're onto something. Alright, I'm back in, uh... The mountain, the Cyan Mountain Kingdom. I'm just getting some stuff for the interior design of our guard post checkpoint thing. And I wanted to bring you in because um, it's time to reveal the Mountain Kingdom banner. 
if I can remember how it is done. I think it is this. This was submitted by Larry139. Um, and it was slightly different, but I, I changed it up. Um, that is maybe correct. Yeah, let's try that. Um, I changed it up slightly and I think it looks fantastic. So thank you very much, Larry. Uh, it goes like this and then we're going to have... Um, hmm. Was it this? No. <laughs> I really suck at making banners. Okay, there we go. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, is it done? It's uh, pretty much done. Yeah, I think he had another border uh, to it. <clears throat> and I don't know if I love the black. We may switch out the black for, like, gray or something. Um, but overall, like, this is a, a very um, Templar-looking banner. I think he had another one of these. I'm not sure, though, what that would do. It would pretty much waste our ink, and I will skip it. Uh, but there you go! The Mountain Kingdom banner. I think it's gorgeous. I love the fact that it looks like a paladin Templar thing. Um, and it's simplistic. Now all we need is the banner for the uh, Swamp Kingdom, and then we've got banners for every every kingdom that we have. So if you got any suggestion, the Swamp Kingdom needs to have green, not lime green, but green and brown in it. Um, and <clears throat> you can kind of see we're going for pretty simplistic designs as far as the banners goes, uh, with the Roxolani, I mean, not necessarily being simple to make, but it's not a... It's not a lot of stuff on it. Um, that's also a good banner, actually. It's not a lot of stuff on it, and I think, yeah, if you can, you can see it's it's just simple and clean, and I think that makes a lot of sense. So that's the Mountain Kingdom. Uh, I needed that because I think the guard posts are gonna require those as well. Um, okay, so I'm heading back now. I got some stuff. We're gonna place down the interior decoration things of the Mountain Kingdom and, or of the <laughs> of the guard post, and uh, then we'll move on. Alright, so here's what I've got, um, and I think this is looking very plain, but also very good in a plain way. Um, we may have to do a little bit of changes still, but uh, it's actually... Mm, it's looking a little bit too much like a box, perhaps. Uh, but it's pretty good, I mean, I, I like it. If you come through the road, you have to pass underneath it, which I think is the, is the idea. Uh, the banners, we'll put, we'll try one over there, marking the entering of Roxolani Kingdom, and then over here I'm thinking we should have the Mountain Kingdom. Um, as, you know, that, that pretty much is part of the Mountain Kingdom, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I got a little bit of cobble foundation. It looks a little bit weird here, to be honest. We may have to help that a little bit. We could possibly do... Something like that. To me, make it feel like an arc. Uh, then I put this down. I put some coarse dirt underneath and I have some fences. I think that's uh, pretty good. Do I have any spruce though? Nope. Okay, I'm going to try putting some spruce slabs underneath them uh, later. But I wanted to put some interior decor, decor in here. And I think a basin, definitely. What are these called actually? Cauldron. What do I get basin from? Uh, with some water in, because this is kind of also acting like a pit stop during peace times. And then I have a chest here. I uh, I want to keep this chest. I don't think that this makes a whole lot of sense to have there, though. Uh, but in here, I wanted to put some horse supplies, because uh, many times when I'm out here, I see horses and there are no saddles nearby. So I uh, wanted to have those there. Um, and I'm gonna keep some personal supply here for now for the tree cutting for the road. Um, anything else? Yeah, I was thinking about using these doors. Hmm. I can't remember what I was thinking. I had an idea. Was it like this? No. Nope. Don't know why I brought them. Oh, maybe I was... Yeah, maybe I was thinking of making one of them barrel things. Let's try that, actually. Uh, right over here, I suppose. I don't think this is going to work, but we could try it. So if you put doors like this, it kind of looks like a barrel in a way. But I don't think that works. We're going to take it away, okay? Let's never talk about it, ever. Uh, what else? Yes, some sand. Sand is a very bold 
way of making it look more dirty um, and it's kind of like sawdust and I don't know if you guys will appreciate this it's just gonna be a little bit don't know if you guys will appreciate it uh, but I think it looks pretty cool actually it gives it a little bit more flavor flavor if you want uh, and then some hay bales definitely some hay bales we'll put them randomly like so maybe because this is kind of Roxelani's trade right um, maybe we'll put one over here <clears throat> one like that and one like that yes that I think is good I think that's uh, gonna do it for the guard post thing it's looking interesting it's not too much that's another thing that's very important let's come up here and take a look it shouldn't be too much it should be a point of interest that makes sense um, and if we clutter it too much which the sand actually may do uh, <clears throat> then it's gonna take away from the whole it, it shouldn't be something it should be something simple that you just pass through if you know what I mean don't know if I like the balcony part actually <laughs> Uh, but it will have to do. I think it's okay. The good thing with it though is that we can easily now change the route, uh, the road afterwards. So this could act as a. It will trick the eye. If we start with the trot of dirt here, it's gonna work. I, I tell you, believe me. I don't know what this is, but it's something. Um, okay, let's continue working on the road and let's make it over to the end. I'm gonna do most of the road work off camera. Um, we've got a little bit of ways to go, but let's just take a look together. And then I'll place down the road. Very straight bridge here. Definitely needs some miscalification. We made this <laughs> just a minute ago. But uh, I'm saying it now so that you don't have to comment about it. Um, that it's ugly. It's not ugly though. I like it. But it needs some miscalification. The, the, the ladder or the, the fences aren't good. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're over here. We need to go like this all the way and then I wanted to take like a turn here and I'm probably gonna fill this in I don't like it when it's like uh, looks like creeper explosions it doesn't if it would have been a ravine we could have done a bridge but that just looks sad um, then over here I have an idea for this mound if you will let's see how deep this is yeah it's pretty deep uh, where you have that thing there that's where the end drop is um, and actually what we're gonna do let's do this before I go make the road even though it's dark <clears throat> um, well this is gonna take a while but what I want to do I want to have and, and this is for a later plan and at the moment I'm not making any sense but I want to have a straight uh, drop from the end portal itself so from over here uh, I want to come like this and then go up here okay this will all make sense in a minute um, and I want to make a 3 by 3 drop hello don't punch me in thank you um, <clears throat> so what I will do is I'll dig out a hole here I'll dig this all the way up to the surface, which is totally the plural of surface because uh, that's how we do uh, <laughs> So I'll dig this all the way up to the surface, a 3x3 three three hole, and then what we're going to do is have the building for the end portal over that hole. Okay? And I got a pretty good idea for that. Crap. <laughs> I got a pretty good idea for, for what I want to do there. So, uh, let me get to laying down that road and digging that hole, and then I come back to you. If you ever get the chance to use TNT and blow something up, you should totally take that chance. Trust me! Because it, uh, it's a very epic feel to be like a superhero walking out of a, of a tunnel, blowing it up behind you. Uh, <laughs> let's see how this did. Oh, wow. That's looking pretty perfect. Pretty happy with that. You may be wondering what I'm doing here. Blowing up stuff. Shouldn't I be building a road, you may say? That's correct. But this is going to be part of the road, um, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to have to do a little bit of aftermath, aftermatch repairs, though. Um, but um, I'm going to show you what I've done, what I've been up to here. Uh, <clears throat> so, 
I don't know in the last segment did we just now a second ago your time did we plan out how the road were gonna be where it was gonna go in the in the plains kingdom or in the plains area probably um, but I can't remember so I'm gonna show you I did uh, I did change it up is what I'm trying to say jeez this is this is damaged <laughs> okay I wasn't planning on this roof here to be blown out but that's okay that's okay we can fix it we can work around it um, there's a big reason I want this cave though um, and let me show you uh, the road jeez I'm out of chicken as well <clears throat> the road I've done this beautiful thing here I found this area a little bit of a forest on the hillside and I think it's pretty gorgeous and I wanted to incorporate it so again thinking about the Samara ravine that I spoke about in the last episode um, they have a lot of like open railings and things um, and so uh, they have a lot of these you go into like corners of mountains and stuff um, and I did a little bit of a balcony here so you can hang out and kind of relax and breathe the air got a nice mountain in the background and this is just off the bridge to the side uh, so originally I was thinking that the road should go all the way down there and you can kind of see that I had the road here I've just taken it away and the grass hasn't fully grown and I missed a spot there I was thinking the road should go there and above that mountain but then I dug out the hole that I was talking about the 3x3 and it actually pops up right over here so instead of having the road there we're gonna make a little shortcut through this mountain blown up this cave blown out this cave uh, because I have a pretty cool plan for what I want to decorate this with inside here uh, And then it comes out here and I've made a little bit of a foundation and I dug out this hole We got the end portal right down there um, And we're gonna make a very cool entrance and I think the building that is gonna sit here is gonna come off of your comments It's gonna be kind of like a tavern or an inn uh, But we're gonna do that in the next episode and you know what people have been asking where is cub fan? Um, and I'm gonna do my absolute best to get him uh, be part of that video because I'm gonna need his help there's gonna be a little bit of a redstone uh, contraption involved so I hope that we can do a collaboration um, video and, and, and bring him back uh, to Kingdom Craft I know that he's been very busy lately uh, but hopefully he has time so look forward to that but that's gonna do it for today I think we've made some good progress we made the guard post we've made the road and more importantly we got a cave to work with and a tavern to work with i'm very excited for the next episode i can't wait i hope that you share that anyway if you liked this video go ahead and show me some love hit the like button below if you're new to the channel subscribe and uh, i see you in the next episode